Jerome Parker and before we get started I'd like to remind everyone to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are notified when I post a new video so I was looking through my analytics and saw that my video that typically gets the most views is my creating a web RTC uh, app with view now that was a live stream that I did a few years ago and because it was a live stream you know it wasn't as uh, polished as you know my uploaded videos usually are so I decided to expand upon that app redo it with some added features so this is actually going to be a video series um, of creating a Google meet alternative using web RTC so basically you can go to the beta right now meet.jcompsolute.com and you can put in a room ID join a room and when you join a room pops up you can do a screen share you can screen share and if you open up another browser I'll grab my phone real quick you grab another browser and you hop into the application I'll do that now join room and you'll see that you know I will pop up Oops, what happened there? There we go. Oops, stop sharing. There we go. There we go. We'll go ahead and leave. So basically, I'm just going to go over, this is done in Vue.js, this ba very basic version um, just does basically what I showed you. You can share your screen and you can jump in and have WebRTC, obviously, uh, the limitations that come with WebRTC. So this would be good for uh, small group calls, five people or less, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just hop right into it. So the code was really easy. Basically, we just um, create a new uh, view application using the view create command. So view create, I call it WebRTC demo. And we use one dependency in this application and that is the view WebRTC package, which we can get from npm using the npm install view web rtc command and the cool thing about this package is it already packages up everything that we need in regards to joining rooms leaving rooms capturing video uh sharing screen video and capturing photos which we can turn into capturing video which we will do in the later video so once you uh scaffold your application basically we're going to import the package so let's head over this is a scaffold application we're going to go into the main.js and basically we're going to import webrtc from view webrtc and we're going to use the package now i got rid of all the default components and stuff that was in there so the only thing we have here is the app.view and you see in here we just can add this view web RTC component give it a width of 100 give it a room ID here we have it um, bound to the room ID in our data <clears throat> in our data variable function rather and then we give it a reference of web RTC so we can call our functions later in the code here I have a input that uh, you can set the room ID you can set the room ID to whatever you want. In the next video, we're actually going to uh, implement so that if you put the uh, room ID in the URL, it'll grab that room ID and automatically insert it into the application. And then here we have a, a button that we have a toggle room command. Uh, and we change the text of the button based on if the user has joined the room or not. So the toggle room command basically will make you enter or leave the room. And if they have joined the room, then it says leave room. If they haven't joined the room, then it says join room. And then finally, we have a button that when you click it, it calls the screen share command. And it only shows if you have joined the room and it basically will share the screen. So here we have the data 
function and we have the room ID and then we have a boolean for the has joined and then we simply have two functions toggle room and screen share now in the toggle room function the first thing we check to see if they have joined the room if that is true then we call the WebRTC through the ref and we call the leave command which will have them leave the room and then we set has joined to false else we're going to call the join command and we're going to set the room to true now this package has a peer server configuration built in which you need a, a peer server for a web RTC to work but you can and should use your own so in a, one of the later videos we're actually going to deploy our own peer server so we won't have to rely on uh, the one in in the package but it works just fine but for production purposes obviously we want to run our own and then finally the screen share command which just calls the share screen command on the WebRTC package and uh, so yeah so you run it and that pretty much is it we get it over here we have the room ID we got the join room uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this in I'm gonna go ahead and run this in development mode so we can see the view dev tools real quick so in the next video, the upload, uh, not only going to do some styling, but also going to uh, talk about how we can monetize this app. And what I'm thinking right now is uh, we can record each session. And if you want to get the recording, you have to pay a dollar to download. So I'm going to implement that and we're going to use Laravel as the backend API for that and uh yeah i'm excited so but until then let's go ahead and open it up so now we have it in developer mode i'm going to inspect and then let's head over to view if you see we got the root we got our app and we got view web rtc you see we got the socket url that comes with it we got the room id enable audio we don't have enable we have enabled logs set the false have enable video set to true and autoplay set to true so if i set this to test you see the room id changes the test etc etc uh join room and now you see that i'm in the room and we have the socket connection and we can break all that down so uh so yeah so that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button i am trying to make my way up to my first 10k i'm almost at 1500 now so help me get there and also really help uh with the recommendations if you hit the like button get other people seeing this video help get my views up i'm trying to get monetized so that is pretty much it everyone i'm going to put a link to the repo in the description and then, of course, you can always go to meet.jcompsalu.com up here. And that is pretty much it. I will see you all later next.